This one, this I spoke about this one earlier in the stream. Uh, hey, anime night, welcome to the stream. Hey, welcome. Yeah, uh, this is the one that we talked about where you're like um, misplaying, like throwing a game. Uh, <laughs> this is this is the guy I mentioned earlier. He throws the game so hard. If it was me, I would have uninstalled Master Duel and chosen a different game to play. Like I would need a new hobby. Is that B Binesu? Binesu, I think is his opponent's name. I, I'm not 100 percent on my Japanese, but okay. Let's see. Let's see how this how this goes down. Lightning storm, metal reflex line, called by the grave, ash blossom, ash blossom, crackdown. So you're playing stun. Metal he reflex. He line. takes Egyptian god slime and sets five and says go. And. This is the hand I'm given. Hmm. All things considered, this is an unbelievably bad hand. This is this is just about as bad a hand as you can get with Altergeist. Uh, the only way this could be worse is if he either negates Desires, or if Desires banishes Multifaker and just draws, like, still, like, two more copies of, like, the cards that I already have. Like, this is unbelievably bad. Oh my god. Nine? Okay. Anyway, uh, it does. It, it banishes my multi-faker. It banishes my snow. Like, I, I'm not feeling the love. And then I draw Droplet and Spoofing. <laughs> so, Oof. Oof. I, I should not be able to even play this duel. Uh, this is just a bad time, but... I'm not going to lie. I'm thinking about putting Forbidden Droplets in my deck as a board breaker because it's, opponents can't respond to it. It's an incredibly like, get me good through card. True, 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 uh, Utopic Dracos. But, uh... uh yes. Okay, I, so I, I can't with your replay. That's the important part. Yeah. So uh, someone mentioned I can make Hextia, and, and someone even said, like, why not make Hextia there? And the answer is my opponent has five back row, so I get to set pass... And then if he doesn't answer the monster, I have summon and then still make the Hextia and get it back anyway. And then I can actually get like a Hextia search. I also have a spoofing to get rid of this and actually get a faker and make a play. And I have this to get back this even if this card dies. And I know that the only thing he's going to do is make Egyptian God Slime. I literally watched him add it off Pot of Prosperity. I don't care. I'm not going to get OTK'd. I have time to... I, I have time. Simple as that. I have to. I have not seen Egyptian God Slime played in a competitive duel, so what does this guy do, actually? Uh, it's um, Fusion Summon or Special Summon by tributing a level 10 Aqua with zero attack, so no Reflex Slime. Uh, it can be treated as one or three tributes for God cards. Uh, it can't be destroyed by battle, and your opponent can't target for attacks, your, and your opponent cannot target with card effects any other monster except this guy. So he's like Ring of Magnetism, but also for targeting effects. Oh, okay. And he's just a 3k, 3k, dude. But like, Sure enough, like, yeah, he beats up my thing. I knew he was going to do that. I don't care. And now I'm just, like, staring down this, like, five back row. So the plan is summon Sill, chain this, bounce it for free, get back the guy for free. It's as if nothing happened, and he has a call by. I'm like, all right, whatever. Still take care of your Egyptian god slime. This was always the plan. It's all going according to plan, I guess, <laughs> like... That's fine. Silkwoodus took out two cards. I'm happy. My thing's set back down. And he has another Metal Flex Slime. I'm like, whatever. I literally still have Manifestation because Altergeist cards are stupid broken. And he has Crackdown. And okay. Shuffle away. Search for a monster. My Faker is banished, so that sucks. And he goes Soul and Judgment. And I'm like, okay, so that's so much for Melu Seek. Like, now I'm... Now this, this hurts. <laughs> like, I, I am actually in a pretty Interesting. You didn't, spot. Oh, did you only just set that solemn? Yes. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, so he goes into an Egyptian god slime, and, like, I, I basically have no choice. Like, it's time to trade with his second slime and hope that his cards aren't good. <laughs> and my... my signature monster is here to betray me. <laughs> this card is so annoying. But I've got, you know, three droplets, so whatever. Take the 1225, I don't care. Uh... What did he do? Uh, what are you asking me? What, what do you do? Yeah, what, what, what happened here? What did my opponent do? I guess I see. They've summoned the Gizmak. 
Where? In the left zones? He okay. knows I have manifestation, and he knows that I've... Well, actually, no, I don't have the thing, but he knows that I have manifestation. He put it, he put it here. This is a very lucky draw, because I forgot that the thing was banished. <laughs> Here's my level one, and he warnings it. Even though, again, he knows I have manifestation. So I just bring it back again anyway. And rather than being oh, betrayed by my it. signature monster, I'm going to kill Alan. him with my signature monster. <laughs> oh, wow, the Anima. Uh, yeah, I played Anima. <laughs> and if he just held the warning for the Anima, I was dead. Like, he put it there, killing himself, and then he warninged the Puquiri, doubly killing himself. He had to make, like, three consecutive mistakes to lose that duel, and he did all of them right in a row.